Hey guys, somebody was talking to me the other day and, you know, we were kind of going back and forth on a few things and I was to basically telling them that they should check out doing more YouTube because they have a lot of interesting uh, perspective on a few things, things that I know nothing about, but I just thought it was really cool and I just said, man, you should do YouTube as I tell a lot of people because it's something that I do and I'm excited about. I love helping other people and so on, but they were basically asking me how did I get into it, and I wanted to do a video on that because a lot of my ideas, a lot of the things that we now do, new HVAC guide, all that stuff started somewhere, and it all started from you. You know, it started from the folks watching my videos. I wish I was this great predictor of business. I wish I could tell you where I'll be 10 years from now. Of course, I've got dreams and goals like anybody else, but almost every venture that I now do, including Griffin Air, including New HVAC Guide, have all come from folks like you. Folks that have said, hey, Josh, why don't you do this? Or what do you think about doing that? And that's how it's all started. So I just want to do a quick video on that. Years ago, I was moving to the area that I live now. I had learned electrical, plumbing, and heating and air over a decade time span or more. And I met my wife who was from this area and we were moving here. And I talked to my father-in-law about doing several different things, but ultimately he said, hey, you should start your own heating and air business. There's a big need for it here. A lot of the companies will even promise people things and not deliver. You know, they called it the promised land for the longest time when I first started out here. A lot of the companies would say, you know, oh yeah, I'll be there tomorrow. And then they never show up. They would make all these promises and not deliver. So anyway, Griffin Air was born because of that. And we've been blessed. Uh, we have some great employees. We have some great customers. And it's been great. As time went on, I started looking for ways to advertise Griffin Air. And one of the ways I found was YouTube. It's a free way of me being able to kind of get on my soapbox and tell my potential customers, hey, you know, here's why this is a good idea. Or here's a product and here's why it's so great. It gave me that little bit of moment in time that maybe they would stop and watch a video instead of having me try to stand in their home and give them the same 10 minute commercial. And of course they know I'm trying to sell them something so they're not really listening. They've kind of got their walls up. But with YouTube, I found their walls were down a little bit. And it gave me an opportunity at first starting out with Griffin Air to talk about some of the products we were selling. If you go back to a lot of my older videos, they're almost all about either Griffin Air or they're about a product that we were selling. But it didn't take very long for folks to start commenting on our videos and they started saying, hey, well, you know, what about a tip or a product that helps with this or that? I started doing that with my videos. I started doing videos on questions I was getting and people's comments. And eventually, I remember where I was. I was sitting in a 7-Eleven parking lot in Hartfield, Virginia, and I had a lady we were talking and she had called me because she had saw one of my videos, one of my Griffin Air videos. And she said, man, a lot of the stuff you're telling me, I would pay money for that. You should write a book. You know, all the stuff you're telling me, it's stuff that's not out there. It's stuff that, you know, it's simple stuff. It's not world changing stuff, but it's stuff that if homeowners knew it, maybe they wouldn't be taken advantage of so much. And she had called us because she wasn't in Griffin Air's market, but she had seen a video. Anyway, after that conversation, late at night, one night, the new HVAC guide was born. Just because someone made that suggestion. As time has gone on, the channel has grown. Thank you so much for your support. If you are one of our subscribers, we've been blessed there too. A lot of my videos, again, come from you. Come from comments and questions that people give me. They'll say, hey, you know, what about this or that? And I'll do a video on it. So a lot of my content, I, it doesn't come from this brain. It comes from folks like you asking me questions. And then I do a video answering that question. And then finally, here recently, we launched our Service Biz Growth Groups. And I'll put a link to the description down below, but that came from, I had two different guys reach out to me. They both had two different stories, but basically the gist was they both had small heating and air businesses and they wanted to grow and they wanted to bounce some ideas off of me. And one of them said, hey, you should start coaching people. And I talked to a mentor of mine and I, to be completely honest with you, I don't even know if I have the you know, the wherewithal or the smarts or the wisdom to coach somebody. But we talked about doing mastermind groups to where I could share ideas and so could others. 
and that's how these groups were born. They're called service biz growth groups, and we've got electricians, plumbers, heating and air, painters, pressure washing businesses, all kinds of people in those groups, and it's been a lot of fun. And again, that came from someone commenting and saying, hey, you should do this or that. So who knows what the future holds? All it takes is for one of you guys to make a comment or a question. Who knows? I might be delivering pizzas next week on a bike just because one of you suggested it. Uh, but no, seriously, I appreciate all you guys commenting and liking and doing all the things you guys have done and, of course, subscribing. That said, thanks for watching. If you sat through that, my little story there, and I appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.